okay, there's uh, problems with some shanks out there and some early extension and, and all that good stuff. And I think a lot of it's a result of uh, a lot of these perfect way of swinging the golf club because, you know, everybody wants to have that perfect one plane swing. Everybody wants to pull on the handle and get maximum lag. Everyone wants to uh, hold on to that power accumulator number three for as long as possible to get maximum shaft lean and like Hogan, snatch the handle around the corner for that CP release. And all that does is get everybody steep, early extending the hips, shankopotamus. Looks something like this. Okay, that's no good. So, needed another ball here. So the way to combat that is you need to shallow the shaft by using a proper lower body and upper body sequence in the transition. And I've come up with a drill that I call the miss drill. Now you can cheat on this drill and it's not gonna do you any good. So what you're trying to do is, is you're trying to use the lower body to create space where you take a perfect divot and completely miss the ball on the inside, okay? So address the ball the way you would address it normally and then use the lower body to shift and turn and create enough space where you completely miss the ball on the inside but take a nice divot, okay? What this, what people have several different epiphanies when they do this. They'll look at me and they'll go, wow, I have so much more room. I don't do anything like that. Feels like the club is behind me and yet I made a really good shot. These are the kinds of words that come out of people's mouths. So you set up normally and then use the lower body to create space to completely miss the ball. Okay, so I missed the ball a good two or three inches on the inside and took a nice divot. And what you'll see is, is I probably kept the club out in front of me going back so the left arm didn't go low and inside. And then my lower body created a situation where the club really had to shallow in order to get on the inside of the ball. So there's two ways you can use this drill. You can use this drill to get the proper feeling and then also use this drill where you grab, if you have the shanks or really bad early extension, but the shanks especially, is gradually move out closer to the ball. Like first start trying to hit the ball off the grooves on the edge here and make sure there's no one immediately to your right when you're doing that obviously. And then you'll feel yourself gradually working the middle of the club face out to the ball. But the most important part about this drill is it gets your lower body moving in a way where you don't early extend and you shallow the shaft. So give it a try and you can't cheat. That's the most important part. You don't want to be giving it one of these. Okay, that's cheating. All I did was stand up and pull my hands in. You need to use your lower body to create that space to get the club to miss the ball on the inside.